welcome to Just a Tip Tuesday. Just a Tip Tuesday. So we are driving along, um, currently along Interstate 80 <laughs> to Des Moines. We are going to have dinner this evening with my brother and sister-in-law. So we've left all the kids at home and we have a chain of scenery. A change of scenery. So, what's our tip today? Um, I was just telling Chantel that we've been watching a lot of our our favorite uh, YouTubers down in uh, YouTube, down in the Tampa RV show, doing a lot of motor home, motor home tours and trailer tours, right? of motorhomes down there and, and, and of course um, everyone kind of says the first most important thing you should look for in a motorhome or a trailer um, is what? The layout of the, the layout. floor plan. The floor plan yeah. yeah. So first go with your floor plan. But then uh, no one really talks about um, the, uh, what I think is the second most important thing in searching for a, a motorhome is what did I say to you? It was, I thought it was uh, the second most important thing. With the slides in. Yeah, what it, what when it looks like when the slides are, are in. in. When you're traveling. Because uh, <laughs> that, that, that kind of will limit you as to what you can and can't do while you're driving. Especially the Class A and also I guess uh, some Class C's they have slides now too, don't they? Yeah. Class B's have slides? I think, I think um, some do. Yeah. yeah. So anything, any motorhome with slides um, that you'll need to get access to. I know some fifth wheels, like... Yeah, a lot of fifth wheels. A lot of fifth wheels. You can't even access the refrigerator or the bathrooms. Um, I think know, a lot of the older ones are nicer because you can get to a lot of stuff in yeah. the older fifth wheels. Like our, uh, our older, or the, the previous Class A that we had, we, could we get to the bedroom? The slide yeah. In? Yeah. You could get to everything in that one. Okay. It was just very cramped. Yeah, you just couldn't get into the closet. But so, you could get into the bed. And so we uh, we just bought a newer uh, diesel pusher Class A this past spring, so the spring of 2019, we bought a, a new motorhome. Yeah, June, June of 2019 we bought it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, one thing I realized with our current diesel pusher is with the slides in, I can barely I can barely fit my, my belly through the, the door to go to the bathroom. I don't have that problem. I could go to the bathroom just fine. Yeah, I could probably lose a few pounds, but still, it's, it's a contortionist thing. Yeah, I mean, it is tight. To get to the bathroom, the, the hall bathroom for us. And I'll probably, we'll probably do a, a, tour, a tour video of our, our diesel pusher um, here, and I'll show you what it looks like in the slides in when we do that video. But uh, And it's because we have one, our driver's side has an entire... The, that entire side is all one giant slide. Yeah, it's a big slide. And right across from that bathroom is bunks. a bunks yeah. for the kids. So, and then you can't get to, you have to get to the back bathroom. You have to crawl up and over the bed <laughs> to get back there. But we don't ever need back there because we have one, it has two bathrooms in it. So the only time we ever need back there is if. I keep our medicine or whatever, so if a kid needs a headache medicine or something while we're driving, then I'll crawl myself up and over the bed. It's not that big of a deal, but, you know, so we are going to do a few up upgrades. Yeah, so I think one of the, one of the things we're going to change about the RV that we have now is changing that whole bathroom door. Chantel had an idea of making like maybe a sliding barn door type thing, which that sounds like a pretty decent idea. It'll work because we don't have anything on that wall. Yep. So I'll be. Uh, I've got a few other upgrades I'm planning for the RV too. Like we're doing a big solar project that we want to get done before spring break. Um, That's a go. Those things are shipping to us yeah. in shipment to us currently. Yeah, they're, so. they're in transit. I've got solar panels and lithium battery batteries on the way. Um, so I'm gonna try to find some way to install those things in the Iowa snow here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you remember our last, just a Tip Tuesday 
Yeah, like you said, don't come to Iowa, don't live in Iowa in the wintertime. Well, I'm, we're still that way. We're still this way. <laughs> we, still. We, we got eight inches of snow this last week. It's warmed up, but we got a, another eight inches of snow. So, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I got a lot, of, uh, a lot of upgrades I want to do for the motorhome. So it's kind of spawned a new, uh, a new series of videos I'll be, I'm going to be putting out here in the upcoming weeks, months, whatever. Uh, where we're, we're calling it Motorhome Upgrade Mondays. Your Mondays is spelled M-U, Motorhome Upgrade. So got some things we're going to be upgrading in our RV. Uh, I'm not saying that's like, I'm not saying that we need to upgrade anything in the RV. It's just we definitely are going to keep this one around for a while. So we want to make it as 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 user friendly for, for us, us. Yeah. <laughs> as possible. So stay tuned for that. So anyway, anything else you want to talk about? No. No more tips. No more tips. That's our good. Oh, we have more videos coming up. So we just. Oh yeah. We just released our Grand Canyon North Rim video. Was the last week? Yeah, so last week. Last Thursday, I believe we did. Yeah. So hopefully you've watched that already. And uh, we'll have a video coming out about Antelope Canyon. Antelope Canyon. We took a tour of Antelope Canyon, and then we got a couple more videos for the rest of our 2017 vacation <laughs> uh, coming out, and then we'll get caught up here in the next uh, upcoming months. So. That's all I gotta say. Yep. You can do what, you're, what you want to say. Um, well, that's it for us now. this week, <laughs> and uh, we will see you next week. Bye. Thank you.